Well, hey, um, I got a GT, uh, McLaren GT specifically. Um, I was getting a little tired of getting slowed down by all these other you know, McLarens. I needed something clearly faster than a P1 or a 765. Um, but we also got a bunch of stuff going on with the P1, so why don't I show you guys that first before we go on a little drive in the GT. So this was a 675 LT tub. We tore the roof off of it. Um, so the cool thing about the 675 tub is remarkably similar to the P1s. Actually, most of the P11 chassis, like the 12C, the 650, and the 675 are pretty much the same. So we tore the roof off of this entire thing, and there was a lot of glue. The glue was miserable. Don't ask how we got that off, it was not pretty. Um, so what we're gonna be doing instead is we are sending this to a company to recondition the carbon fiber. And so it's gonna look nice and new once it's done. And then we have a different company that's building us the carbon roof for the P1 that's gonna sit right on top of this thing. We're gonna glue it again, and then we're off to the races. We've got our aluminum subframes for everything that we're gonna be getting powder coated. And uh, with that, we should be starting pretty quickly. Um, so in order to get the roof off, the only thing that you need to know is it is extremely thick, there's a lot of glue, and it is quite annoying to remove. We should theoretically be ready to roll. We tested the P1's rear subframe. So this is a official P12, or what we call P1, aluminum subframe for the rear. And it is a one-for-one -one match to the 675's tub. Um, so thankfully for that, we're, this wasn't a waste of time. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> We were slightly worried for a solid, you know, couple, couple of weeks that we were just working at this thing and it was going to be useless. Um, it turns out you can totally use it. It's going to be great. So this is our P1. It's not pretty right now, but here it is. So with that, we do have a cooler car though. So let me show you this. We've got our 12C, so that's pretty cool. We've been uh, modifying it to say the least. Um, new exhaust. We got finally all of the body panels put back on. Remember the doors? That was, that was a fun video, so those are back on. Uh, <laughs> we got all the, we even went as far as removing the trim on them now so that it'll match. So we're swapping the trim on the doors. Um, this guy, we've got three motors we're burning through on it. We're just gonna have a good time. So there you go. That's pretty much the update. We're getting the cars ready to go on a little road trip and then uh, we'll cut to that. <laughs> <laughs> Dad and oh, oh, it's ruthless. Just bailing. Ruthless. How brutal. Okay. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> there we go. I don't do cardio anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. GT3 versus 765. You got a, a, a bit more ponies in there. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> that was the problem I had is with the, the Carrera T. Uh, I had it green Carrera T. I, I bought a 911. I got a, I got a saw now. <laughs> so I had that for like five minutes and was like, this is a great plan, I love it. And then I'm like, this is 380 horsepower, I could tell. <laughs> so like, um, I was gonna do like GTS turbos, a big upgrade, but even then it just like, the, the price I was diving into was like, you're gonna be spending so much, you might as well just buy a GT for the same price. So it's like, okay, well, instead of buying GTS turbos, new radiators and, Blah, 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 all this crap, just get a GT and it's good to go. Hey, that's, that's so, a very fair point. I, I don't a brand it. new GT, this has 190 <laughs> miles on it. This is its maiden voyage. You get in a Porsche and you're like, wow, Porsche 911s are truly spectacular. You miss a McLaren. These things are just on a different level. We have arrived at the Wendy's. Yes, we're going to a very important Wendy's first and then going to the car meet and then the drive. Let's do it. 
to a bunch. Not at the back tires. Right that now. one too. That kicks out hard. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, that one the, definitely. You have to be. Well, it's cold. It's wet. Yeah. You know, it's uh, the tires just don't stick. But that's Dude, okay. It's really elegant, beautiful, and organic. That thing you could take on a long trip vacation. It this, is. Super I just want to go screaming down the road at like 150 miles. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It feels like the engine has no rubber mounts or anything at all. You feel like. I think they got to this and they're like, you know, yeah. electric is a little overrated. Let's just make yeah. it crazy. We, we kind of want to get that shit crazy on this one. Yeah. <laughs> scratch, please don't scratch. Nice sense. Not a scratch coming out of the Wendy's parking lot. It was a success. Hey, <laughs> we were all, all that is a very up. high stress. <laughs> Moment. I am lucky that mine has a higher schnoz than those two, so <laughs> we're, we're good on that. But sheesh. Okay. All right. Well, we're on our way to the meet now. We had Wendy's. So, hooray. Hi. You know what I love about new McLarens? Huh. Do you hear that noise? That's the accumulators. Really? Yeah. So what does the accumulator do? Uh, we, so we talk about it all the time, but I have no idea what they do. are basically, these ones specifically, So and same with the P1. Um, they are literally making suspension adjustments by like microns over and over and over and over. And it's doing that all over the car. That's the me noise I over see, and I over see. and over. That, that is the sound. That would make sense. It is an annoying sound, <laughs> but it is a characteristic of McLaren. The only Fair one enough. that doesn't make that sound is the 570 because it has a traditional suspension setup instead of the accumulators. So, gotcha. Hey, yeah. the more you know. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I mean, it's no GT, but you know, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right, that is a bold claim, but I think we can get the rolling chassis of our orange P1 here by the end of next year. Like the same time. I, I think it's possible. Steve, yeah. what are your thoughts? You think we can do that? What are my thoughts on what? Getting the rolling chassis of the orange P1 here by next, here by next year. My thoughts are if we get the tires on the chassis, <laughs> it'll be a miracle. <laughs> that would be lovely. <laughs> Fair it's enough. gonna happen. Fair enough. <laughs> One way or another, it will yeah. happen. Way to manifest, kid. Yes. <laughs> way to manifest. Mm -hmm. If it's babies, you could put <laughs> maybe like eight, eight babies maybe. back there. Yeah. You could put nine babies. That's our unit of measurement. This is a family car. How many babies? I, I think you could do. One. Two, it's like Tetris. Three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven. Well, yeah. My question it's is, good. why is that really? the unit of that's space our, measurement? Our, you know, it should be unit of measurement. They should <laughs> say that in their nine British accent. This thing can hold nine babies back there. If you're looking for budget approval as a family, <laughs> that's important. Yeah, this is cool. So it's, it's cute. It is that, like as cute. I had an M2 for like a hot minute. It's the cutest little thing. I'm not. I'm not convinced on this face. This is, in my opinion, this is a face that only a mother could love, Kenny. It looks kind of like, um, remember Angry Birds and the pigs that you used to kill? It kind of has that yes. like, but that's okay. I could see you know, it, I could see it. It's got a good heart and it drives well, and if you get it with a manual, which this one is, then that's well, a, good, that's a great yeah. car. That is a really great car. Hey, that, yeah. It's just, um, I would say it's controversial body language design that BMW keeps doing, but... Yeah, I'm not, not I mean, a fan, I, I, but I hey. I represent certain, there's somebody that makes a body kit out there that does, that makes it look like the previous gen. Yeah. Which, you know, at that point, great. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Well, that was fun. We went to the car meet. We're going to be on our way back to the garage. Um, we will maybe go for the rest of the drive, but um, for now, we're just going to go back to the garage, maybe work on the P1. So okay. see you guys then. Here we go. Well, that was fun, you guys. A little car meet action. Okay. <laughs> well, the wonderful perks of being a P1 owner means just sometimes things don't work. Um, half of the headlights have just turned on randomly. 
Uh, I love this color. I love working on these colors. It's great. <laughs> it's a, there's never been any problems whatsoever with the P1. It's totally perfect. Um, and you know what pains me even more working on this is every time I look at it and start driving it and touching it, I find a part that we don't own yet. <laughs> I'm like, need to buy that. <laughs> Add it to the list. Where is the key in this thing? I, uh, okay, you know, it's fine. I, I don't even care. We're going to just send it off again. So long story short, we, we had the P1 for like five minutes. And then, and then it has another suspension fault issue, which we had just had it in the shop for for two months to get fixed. Um, so now it's back again. P1 life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the fun part is that we're still building one, you know, and it's we know more of this stuff front ways and back than I've ever wanted to, but man, these cars specifically out of the McLaren lineup are extremely temperamental. Um, I mean, less so obviously than like the Artura that's been a problem, but I mean, even then these are still quite problematic cars. So we'll, we'll figure it out. You know, we'll, we'll hook it up to the MDS. We're working on getting that set up right now. Um, and then hopefully it shouldn't be anything major, but that's the fun thing about owning a hypercar. They're great. They break all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery single tail light. I don't. You know what's great? These. These just work. Oh, yeah. These 765s are just as fast. Um, they sound great. And they work. They work 99%. Can't, can't argue with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. they kind of like rattle around a little bit and stuff like that. But they're not as great as <laughs> this. I know I talked a lot about it today, but I just can't get over it. I love this thing. It's a fantastic car. So. Man, yeah, it's... We'll the, see it in some more videos. It's, it's the perfect car. daily car, and maybe it's a car that Kenny will keep longer than two months. Thanks Who for knows? watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everyone has a great week, and uh, definitely, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I, I would like to think that. All right, so we didn't end up doing the car cruise because we got a lot of work to do on this 12C today. Um, so we're going to be f hopefully wrapping this up pretty soon for you guys to make a video on the 12C. Um, stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot more P1 work going forward in the future. Um, but for now, you know, enjoy. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we do want to do a lot more community engagement stuff. So we'll be making an effort to go to a lot of meets and stuff like that and you know, talk with people about the project. We'd love to bring some parts, show people what's up. Um, but for now, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and uh, hopefully we should have something new about this car coming up. So we'll see you in the next video.